Welcome to our latest FIGU group update. And for this episode, we have Michael Unibrook with FIGU Landis Group A Canada. Michael first found out about Billy Meyer in 1986 through the movie Contact. He wrote his first letter in 1987 and became a passive member in 1991. Michael, in 1992, made his first of 12 visits to Switzerland. Back in Canada, Michael was part of a small informal study group based in Toronto, which later became the FIGU Canadian Study Group in 1997. In 2011, they founded FIGU Landes Group Canada. Welcome to the Billy Meyer Books YouTube channel, Michael. All right. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you for uh, inviting me. So we'll start right off the bat with uh, what does FIGU stand for, the acronym F-I-G-U? Right. Well, it actually stands for Free Community of Interests in Border and Spiritual Sciences and Ufological Studies. Uh, but in, let me see here, in 2017, and one can read it in the contact reports, uh, contact 693, I keep looking over because uh, I've got some notes to the side here. Sure, um, great. Yeah, they shortened the the name to um, uh, f uh, Free Community of Interests Universal. I see. So that's easier to uh, to remember, I think. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. Oh, well, and you know, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say uh, the second part, Fee Landis Group. Eh? Well, what does that mean? Oh, well. Landis Group is um, it's like a land group, which is okay. So there are different categories of groups uh, for FIGU. There are study groups. There are interest groups, Interessen Gruppen, uh, uh, Studien Gruppen. These are German uh, words. Or there's the Landis Gruppen. So it's it's like the um, how do you say it? Uh, it's the uh, well, it's the country group. So, so it's um, FIGU, uh, Free Community, uh, FIGU Landis Group Canada. Um, so that means uh, for the country of Canada. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could say it that way. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, and how often do you meet, and what do you primarily do at your meetings? Okay. Well, as yeah, generally speaking, I can say that we meet once a month um, and we cover internal matters that, um, you know, we, <laughs> we need to uh, not go into. Uh, actually, we're, I, I did make a little list here. Um, so I'm just going to ch check to make sure I, I, um, I have covered um, things. Well, for, I guess... Our meetings, I, I could discuss how our meetings are structured in such a way that there there is no uh, hierarchy. So, for example, um, even though as the president of the um, the organization, it is absolutely equal value to all uh, members in the uh, in our 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 group. Um, decisions are done. Um, through voting and um, majority uh, uh, rules, um, but we try to make it so that it's unanimous. Um, tasks uh, are um, done totally on a free, um, free willed basis, so nobody is given a task. You know, oh, why don't you do this? No, it's. Uh, tasks are presented, but it's whoever is so inclined, or if nobody's inclined, well, that's fine too. Uh, so everything is voluntar uh, voluntary, uh, and of course, you know, because we are not for profit, there is no personal gain, no remuneration. So that's pretty much uh, what happens. Let me just, um, yeah. So the. It's voluntary. There's no persuasion, no coercion. You know, none of that stuff goes on. We, I mean, we. It's a cooperation, and 
you know, we do our best to, to work together and, um, you know, for the mission and to, um, um, yeah, that's it. Great. Okay. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about what some of the books you've published in the past, um, uh, the English translations of Billy's work. Sure. Uh, that's easy to do. Um, we've, we've published, well, we've published a lot of books. Um, so I'll, I'll go chronologically uh, from what were the first books that we published. So the first one we published was uh, Decalogue, Do Decalogue. And uh, that is uh, coming from the Patali level, which is uh, the, the highest level of the pure spiritual planes. Uh, that's, <laughs> that is... Um, uh, uh, Billy received a one-way transmission, and he wrote it down word for word. So that's the that's the uh, that would need some explanation as to what are the pure spiritual planes and what is creation and the evolution of everything. And uh, you know, it it's uh, but it is truly an amazing book. Um, it has the uh, laws and recommendations of uh, creation of the creation. So these are really um, guiding um, principles that one can um, um, think about and, um, and, and see the, if there's any logic uh, and, and then if <laughs> apply, um, hopefully. And yeah, and then uh, there's uh, another book that we wrote, uh, we, we published, which was, we translated actually from uh, German to English. So uh, our group was involved with the translation of the Decalogue as well as uh, uh, publishing and then there's the psyche which uh, as well uh, is another uh, truly amazing book by billy then there's uh, goblet of the truth that one we did not translate but we did uh, publish it was translated by uh, willem and marianne um, in, in switzerland uh, yep so i don't need to go into that um, talmud emmanuel uh, again, that wasn't uh, translated by us, but we were uh, tasked with the, uh, uh, the publishing of it, that book. Uh, then there was Arhat Athersata, which is one that we did translate and uh, published. That's coming from the Arhat Athersata pure spiritual plane, which is the, the lowest of the pure spiritual planes. And, um, so that's uh, interesting the way that Billy is able to um, adjust his uh, his his um, consciousness so that he's able to receive information from these uh, pure spiritual planes and then uh, write them write the information down. So that's very very interesting process. Uh, we are so lucky to have him around so that we can uh, have all this information at our disposal and uh, help us to uh, grow and evolve to be real human beings. Gotta love it. We're so lucky. We are. We are so lucky to have him. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, th another book uh, we published is uh, Through Space and Time. That's the photo uh, journal book, photographs of uh, Billy's, uh, uh, the ships, the sh ships that Billy has taken pictures of and other photographs as well. Um, then another book we've uh, translated and published is Symbols of the Spiritual Teaching. And so that is <laughs> also an, another interesting book. Um, in the category f for me anyway, it would be, um, well, okay. I'll, I'll leave that aside. I was going to say, well, no, I'll, I'll say it. What the heck? Um, I really you should. You the, should. <laughs> yeah, I should. Uh, the Book of Names is another one of those books that is like lists, you know, lists of um, names and their meanings. I find that so interesting. With, but this one is um, words uh, that, you know, can be anything from evolution to life to uh, um, you name it, uh, creation to uh, despair or, or happiness or all the different um, you know, key words that have symbols associated with them. And um, so there are these words and then there's these pictures that one can look at and some of them are in, in color. So that's even uh, more interesting um, because it adds another uh, layer or dimension to the, uh, the image themselves. 
So there's there's that. Uh, so we have symbols of the spiritual teaching book that we uh, made available, and more recently we have um, about fluidal energy, respectively uh, fluidal. Um, uh, <laughs> what is it? Fluidal powers. That's it. Fluidal powers and other things. And so this is based on a um, kitchen conversations that Billy has had uh, with um, core group members uh, in their kitchen where he lives. Um, they would uh, set up a tape recorder in the center of the table, and they'd have these conversations about various topics. And of course, the the topics of uh, cremation or uh, organ transplants or uh, well, um, fluidal energies, ghosts, right? Ghosts, that's, the, that's another one, you know. That, uh, is, uh, and, and so people would want to know, you know, what is this all about? And, you know, and, and so he would get into these, these, um, these explanations and answer people's questions. And so this book is a compilation of um, uh, explanations about what fluidal energies are, uh, also covering what is the paranormal, and um, um, and also goes into the process of um, uh, dying, uh, the uh, what happens in the overall consciousness block, and the pr uh, preparation of the. Uh, the new spirit form, uh, 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 preparation of the new personality, along with the you know the um, reincarnating spirit form. So that that process that uh, of building up the new personality and preparation of the new personality for the next incarnation. And uh, uh, yeah, anyway, there's interesting points there too, which which. You know, for example, for example, I'll just go into one small example <laughs> um, that uh, um, the uh, the over the monitoring of the time are, are always occurring in the uh, overall consciousness block, so that when the new personality incarnates for the first time, right, spirit form reincarnates so it's what is eternal same spirit form but different personalities but when the new personality incarnates with this with the spirit form or creation energy part piece it is not at a complete loss when it comes to the changing times and technologies and everything so there is a um, a monitoring of the times in the in the realm of the overall consciousness block so that's an interesting point. Anyway, um, the, uh, and then uh, the the latest uh, book that we've published is uh, and translated is uh, from the depths of outer space, contacts with the Pleiadians slash Pleiadian. Um, and so that I think I purchased that book from your website, and I think you sent it to me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's it's a very interesting book. It uh, it really gives um, a, a good overview of uh, Billy Meyer's contacts, and um, also a little bit about the science uh, that was you know the investigators and, uh, but uh, especially interesting for me anyway has been the um, the first contacts that Billy had. Um, with Svat for 11 years and then with Askit and uh, the adventures that uh, that went on and also um, insights into uh, the lifestyle of the uh, uh, play out and people and uh, you know what they eat and how they live and uh, what type of government they have and uh, you know how they grow food and <laughs> these, you know, this is uh, these incredible yeah it's really interesting well, that is quite a lot of books you guys have uh, published. What a great service to the English speaking world uh, that we have the ability to read those books through your guys' efforts. So thank, thank you on that. What about publications for the future? Uh, are you working on anything now or uh, what might be coming up? What new publications might you be doing? So now we're working on um, uh, uh, Rebirth, 
uh, death, dying, um, of rebirth, living, death, dying, and uh, sorrow. Yeah, so that is an incredible book. Uh, that you know couldn't come out any sooner. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's it really goes into detail about the whole process of um, the process. Well, actually, and same with fluidal energies. I, mean, I would say even fluidal energies goes into even finer details about what happens in the uh, realm of the overall consciousness block. But um, a Rebirth uh, a book goes into that process in, in very understandable terms, um, you know, that uh, how the personality only exists in, in the, there's one unique personality for each life and uh but that not nothing is lost you know there's everything is uh there's the storage banks that goes right into uh, detail about the storage banks and um um yeah it just brings clarity to the whole um death and uh, and dying process too that's the uh the other thing um is a quite a large section of the book is uh, uh talking about coping with death you know uh, either death of um, uh, <laughs> one's own death of course uh, being prepared for it uh, but also um, the death of someone that's close to you for example and um, for example uh, um, uh, envisioning uh, them dying and so actually going through the uh, mental um, preparation by seeing how you would feel if they did die so that you are already preparing yourself for that eventuality uh, sh you know should it happen before you you yourself die um, but um, so that's uh, uh, that's one example but also you know how people um, have to deal with um, the death of a uh, not only a spouse but uh, their children um you know uh, feelings of guilt uh, oh you know if i had done it differently it, you know and 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 how that can be a, a you know a self a self blame um thing that can be really um debilitating and um you know so it's and the challenges of dealing with uh with death uh uh, not only your own death, but of course the death of others, and uh, especially, you know, of those that you feel attached to and close to, and uh, and how, you know how to cope with it. Basically, it's um, and, and yeah, so it's really it's quite interesting in that way. And how long before? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say, how long do you think before that might be available? Mm. Oh yeah. Um, well, we're aiming to have it available by around uh, the uh, by the first of August this year. S this year, yeah. Wow. Year. Yeah, the book is uh, just about uh, uh, good to go. We're just uh, in the final uh, stages, and uh, and then we're we're moving ahead with it. And then after that. We have uh, the next book, which is um, is uh, I'd say uh, almost good to go as well. Um, but we'll, we'll try to release it uh, this year as well, later on in the year uh, or early next year. Uh, would be uh, Genesis, and that's uh, an incredible <laughs> another another. Uh, you know, each book you think you've. You've exhausted all the information. <laughs> it just gets. It's there's always more. You know, it's it's. I mean, even the books that uh, we've translated, I, I have to confess that I haven't read them all. You know, it's just it's too much. I, I I, you know, or right now I'm I'm working my way through uh, the might of thoughts, and uh, it's just uh, it's an incredible book. You know, and it's I've tried to go through it before, and I've gone halfway and I just ah, I can't do it you know but this 
this time I'm really determined, and it's it's such an amazing book. But it's like that with all the material, and and Genesis is yet another one of those books that is、uh, just packed with、uh, information、uh, about the not only about the formation of our of、uh, <laughs> something out of nothing, which is uh, again uh, all. Other thing to wrap your head around, but、um, well, we can't wait for those two books to become available in the English language. So that's、uh, that's really exciting.、Um, if people wanted to contact you,、uh, if they want to get in contact you, either a website or YouTube or email, what's the best way?、Mm-hmm. Well, probably the, the easiest way is through our website, which is you know ca dot figu dot org. Or probably, if you、um, type in Figu Landis Group、uh, Canada, well, that's that's a little bit w- more complicated. You got to get the Landis Group spelled correctly. But、uh, Figu Canada, if you could just go Google Figu Canada or whatever you're going to use for browsing,、um, then you should、uh, come across our site. And there, we have a lot of stuff on our website, including. Uh, a multimedia、uh, tab where you can see、uh, all the various、uh, locations where we have、uh, videos posted on、uh, YouTube, BitChute,、uh, Odyssey, Rumble, and、um, yeah, so Twitter, Instagram, all our all our、um, locations are there. Yeah, so ca dot figure dot org. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Michael, so much for your time. We really appreciate you sharing what the Figu Landis Group at Canada has done and what they may do shortly in the future with with your new books and everything. So,、mm-hmm. thank you so much for your time and、wow. uh, good luck and best wishes. <laughs> thank you.、Uh, thanks for the opportunity to share this information.